Uh, so you all are on your way to uh, find... Well, not find. Um, you are all on the way to gather and reestablish and make sure that you know where to get uh, the bioluminescent mushrooms that the leak has requested. Um, yeah. And Molly has some maps for the directions to the cave uh, where they were once known to be. And so you guys are kind of uh, on a mission to uh, make sure that they're still in the same place and they can still be accessed and to gather some as well. Uh, and I think Molly is telling you all of this uh, so that there is no confusion uh, on this next leg of the mission as to how many mushrooms you all need to gather. Uh, which is more than one. Please, Molly is begging you. What, more than one? That, more than that, one. That is the parameters of our contract. Some yes. could be two. <laughs> yeah, no. That, this is, Molly is like, I suppose that's true, but also, please, please work with me. <laughs> um, and so uh, it's a relatively uneventful leg of your journey. Uh, you guys are... Uh, are climbing up a kind of more uh, rocky slash mountainous uh, region. And um, the path uh, wasn't as uh, destroyed as uh, they thought it was going to be. However, uh, as you guys finally make it to where uh, the cave is located, um, you all are standing now standing in front of what appears to be a pile of rubble and molly goes there used to be a cave here according to my map uh mm -hmm. i think if we look carefully this big mound of of rock i think the cave is behind it all um Huh. And she kind of rubs her chin. She's like, I don't suppose you guys could, like, you know, remove all those rocks and boulders. <laughs> I mean, I, we probably could. Help us. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if we can do that then. Uh, <laughs> maybe... Uh, hmm. Oh, sorry. No, no. I think Molly. Molly's just thinking. He's like, She's like, uh, I have to think about what to do next. I was expecting the road <laughs> to be in disrepair and not necessarily the entrance to the cave. Okay. I have I have some questions about this mound. Perfect. Okay, so you said it's like at the entrance of a cave. Is it like coming out? Is it like just kind of inside like can we tell how thick it is to any degree yeah yeah uh so hmm I'm trying to think of like a classic cave like this what it's supposed to look like without all the rubble is like basically a hole in a mountain you know mm -hmm. um not a necessarily huge mountain but like it's it's up against a, a pretty large wall and it's like an entrance into into a mountain. Uh, yeah. But what you guys see, it's it's just like, there's so many boulders and rocks in front of this mountain. Like, where a hole would be, it's boulders. It's a big, big pile of boulders. Oh, okay. Like, we couldn't even tell the outlines of the door. You Yeah, you can't even... the entryway. You can't... Whatever. Exactly. You can't even see that. Uh, if you, yeah, it, it looks, it, it's completely obscured by a bunch of boulders and who knows how far back those boulders go. I think Danny is going to be like, all right, guys, hold on. I want to see something. And then I'm going to like turn into my rock person uh -huh. and like climb on top of the boulders and kind of like probe it for weakness to see if I can just like fall in. Ooh, that's interesting. 
Yeah. Uh, do you have? Yeah. You, you, do you have to make a roll to turn into a rock person? That's a good question. Yes. 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 Uh, roll plus wisdom. On a D ten plus, I hold for three. On a seven to nine, I hold for two. On a miss, I hold for one. And you can give me a consequence. Perfect. Please make that roll. So. Come on, babies. Come on. Okay. Let's see, what happened here is really interesting. Oh. The dice did not listen to me, and I rolled a seven. I mean, you so, know, that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. You know so that. I can hold it for two. Great. Uh, cool. And you're turning into your your uh, stone form, right? Yeah, just a little rock guy. Okay. Um, and I like that. And you are kind of like gonna climb on top of some of these boulders and and kind of get like a sense of what what these boulders are are doing, right? Yeah, I'm like hoping that there will be a spot that they're shifting or something and I can be like, oh, like there's a hole here or something. Okay, so I think uh, that's going to spend one hold uh, to kind of do this, like, we're going to call it stone sense. Um, and <laughs> and um, I think you kind of like, I think what it looks like is you kind of like vibrate a little bit to see like, what's kind of like, it kind of like, it's almost like echolocation. You kind of like can feel what's, what's going on, uh, in the, in the vicinity. And I, and what you feel is, uh, it's, it's pretty impacted. Um, and it, it's a pretty, it's a pretty bad cave in, um, the boulders have fallen. They're in front of the entrance. And on top of that, uh, the entrance itself has, looks like it has like kind of caved in. And so it would re it, it would be a, a bit of a who knows how long it would take for you to, to clear an entrance way uh, through the normal uh, entrance to this cave. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna shout down to everybody and just be like, so what we've got here is an impacted cave in. It could take hours of labor to clear the entrance, and then we've got the entrance itself, which is caved as well. And uh, so we could do that. If anybody has explosives, now might be the time to employ them. If not, I would suggest we look around for an easier way in. That's just my personal read of the situation. Do with that information what you will. Uh, perfect. Molly uh, claps her hands. She's like, well, you guys get to work. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look over here, and she's gonna walk over to this tree and sit down. I feel um, like I'm gonna intentionally pissing us off. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna follow just directly behind her. I feel like she's so oblivious. Like on her way to this tree, she doesn't notice that I'm like a half foot behind her. She does not and notice. Then, and right before she goes to sit down, I'm just gonna grab the back of her of her shirt and just like pull her back up no you don't oh and she's gonna like whoa like she's off balance she's like oh hey hey harvey i didn't see you there buddy yeah you're gonna get off your ass and come with us this time because this is something that requires your expertise you brought us out here to kill shit uh okay this is your bag oh uh, you mean okay well Speaking of your expertise there, Molly, I was wondering if you had any uh, topographical maps of the area that might include maps of this particular cave. I mean, okay, she's like, uh, oh yeah, I have some maps. She's gonna take off her pack, uh, open it up, and she's like, uh, I have a map, which I was referencing to get to this cave. And she's like, I have a map that details where the mushrooms are through the entrance of this cave. Uh, she's like, do I have a topographical map? Uh, and she's she's kind of digging around um, looking. Well, how big, how big is the cave network, Molly? Is it is it like a 10-foot deep cave? 
And it just so happens that these mushrooms only grow in like a five foot by 10 foot area. Or is it like a part of a larger uh, cave network, a network of tunnels? In it, which case, I'm wondering if you could just walk around and find a back way in. It's a, she's like, oh, it's, it's, it's the latter. It's a network of caves. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this to you, but uh, this cave is home to um, giant spiders. Uh, that's why, you know, uh, I have you guys with me. Um, before, uh, you know, the war, uh, it was set up mm -hmm. so that there was a safe passageway uh, to the mushrooms from the entrance. Um or from this entrance, I suppose. Uh, but seeing as this entrance is now uh, no longer viable, um, I'm sure there's another entrance, but it's probably not going to be nearly as safe as uh, this one was, as we, you know, as it was previously established. Well, that's fantastic. You said there's spiders, right? I let's did. Let's bring the danger. Let's go find another one. If they taste half as good, as sky spiders will be fine. Oh, what do sky and spiders I'm just taste like? Happily... Shrimp. Oh, Ooh. very interesting. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go check out a dragon city and get some, get some spice. <laughs> sky spider uh, legs. Some Is spider. that spiders? Mm. Yes, lovely. Perfect. Skiders. I mean, you can get sky skider legs. Um, I personally, I mean, okay, let's be fair. The skider legs are a little closer to uh, a pork, not oh. bacon pork. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, the shrimpy part is really the abdomen. Oh, the abdomen section. Interesting. Mm -hmm. mm. Ideal way to eat it is get a full one, wrap it up legs around the torso, and just like a burrito. I oh. knew this was girls. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time they're having this conversation, I'm just like sat on the floor with the map in front of me, and like Blue is like staring at it upside down across from me, and we're I'm just gonna try to find like another entrance, this other entrance. Okay. Um. Let's see. Is is everyone joining in with this uh, Skyder? conversation or are we <laughs> is anyone else looking uh for another entrance yeah i'm only not helping because i i can't help here really. that's totally fine the, the skider conversation is very interesting <laughs> i'm still looking but i'm not looking at the map so much as like from the top of my mound of rocks okay seeing what i can see so I was asking because I think that I want to have uh, Betty roll a discern realities. And then if anyone wanted to aid or interfere, they could give Betty a bonus. Um, big yeah, since you guys. I'd like to aid. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just by shouting out like what I see. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, yeah. I look, I like that. You're kind of just kind of helping out mm -hmm. and, and seeing, yeah, giving your aid. Is this? I also like to take... aid if that's. Sorry, yeah. So or the. I was just wondering if this is taking place immediately, just looking at the map, or if this whole thing is like us walking around the side of this mountain and it... like everybody's. I think I think it can I think it can be the latter if you would rather it be that like it can take some time and that can be like, what narratively it'll look like. It doesn't have okay. to be like an immediate thing. Sounds good. Uh, so yeah, uh, so, so Betty, go ahead and roll a discern realities, which is, um, oh, what is that? Uh, your roll plus wisdom. And then, um, Danny, uh, roll your dice plus your bond with Betty. And yeah, we'll hold off on your roll, Betty, until we hear what, what Danny did. Seven. Uh, so with your seven... Danny, uh, Betty will get a plus one on their roll, and however, depending on their roll, you'll open yourself to any complications um, if if Betty doesn't roll very well. 
May I also assist on this? You can, but I feel like with the way that aid or interfere works, it, it can't stack. Uh, it's just, just one person. I think okay, it's just fair. one person, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so narratively, uh, we can, we, we'll we show you helping out, but yeah. Okay. 10. No. 11. Oh, solid. Okay. I think that's a full success, which means you get to ask three questions from the list on discern realities. Do you want me to drop them in the chat? I got, I got it right here. Okay. Um, how many questions? Three. In regard, in regards to trying to find an in, in the, the other entrances, right? Mm -hmm. Um, what should I be on the lookout for? Oh. Okay, so I think uh, you should be on the lookout for areas that have um, where things have shifted. That is to say, like, look for areas where the soil, the nearby soil has been, like, disrupted. Uh, 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 trees, have, tr trees have been uprooted. Um, and also, I'll give you this too, uh, be on the lookout for, uh, spider webbing. Mm -hmm. Because if the webbing is nearby, it, it might, you know, indicate a, a nearby entrance. It means they're coming in now. Yeah. Okay. So following that and, like, moving as we, like, follow, like, this trail of, like, um, like, disturbed topsoil and, like, really small traces of like spider web and stuff um i mean the three of us help and i got three questions so uh if either of you want to ask another question besides what i just asked i think you should go for it since we're all working on this i think the other two that i'm think i either either which could be useful um either what here is useful or useful or valuable valuable to me or what here is not what it appears to be um I think in terms of what we're currently looking for, I think I'm going to ask, I think I'm going to say, uh, what here is useful or valuable to me? Hmm. That's a good question. And you guys are looking for the entrance, another entrance, uh, to this network of caves. Yeah. A better entrance. A better hmm. entrance. Right. One that, that, one that you can actually use. Uh, I, I like where this is going. So I'm going to kind of like keep this as if you're following a trail. I think yeah. what you notice, uh, Folly, is that there is some, like, unique rubble uh, hmm. heading off into a certain direction. It's not <coughs> rock. Well, I guess it's, it's technically rock, but it's shaped rock. It's rock that has was once part of a structure. Okay. So it's like we're, tra we're trailing through... And we're picking up on like pieces of spider web that had been like ripped apart as like the trees that they were in between got like s split S apart spread and fallen then, mm -hmm. yeah and then folly starts to like pick up what looked like like square pieces of like like not brick because that'd be clay but like square mm -hmm. pieces of stone yeah right exactly and so we're like on the right path and then yeah so i got one question left um danny or Alyssa, if you want to ask one of the questions from the list. We already asked, what are we on the, what should we be on the lookout for? And um, what is valuable? I what just you? want to follow the rubble for right now and see what we discover. Okay. You don't have, you don't have a question from the list you want to ask? I mean, we just got, I feel like this is a new clue. I feel like we should follow it before and save our question in case we get to the end and oh, I don't think we can see yeah. the question is the thing. Yeah. I, oh. So ask it or don't. I feel like I don't really have a question that would be useful right now. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, me and Elliot were on the same page and I'm going to ask, um, as we're like getting closer and like finding all this like rubble, I'm going to ask what here is not what it appears to be. Let's hear That's not the Maybe. Appears. Yeah. Um, over like a thrown entrance or something. Yeah. So I think, I think what you end up seeing is there is an area 
that has some uh, some trees that have fallen over. But instead of like, you know, when, when a tree, I don't know, when a tree falls over, it might like be leaning like this, like the top of the tree is like leaning up and it's kind of like at this angle. But you notice... But does it make a noise? But does it make a noise? Exactly. Uh, one may never know. You see a tree where the where it's angled this way, where the head of the tree, mm -hmm. where the leaves are, are angled downwards. And um, I think uh, if you head in that direction, you see bigger pieces of stone that Folly had picked up on. And mm -hmm. I think as you get closer, uh, I think you see what used to be uh, a doorway. Um, that has been, that was once covered by and obscured by, uh, you know, uh, over just over time, rock falling, soil being laid down, grasses growing, uh, but with all this disruption, um, a hole has, or a crevasse has opened up, a tree has kind of like fallen into it, and uh, there appears to be um, an old entrance to some ruins. Fantastic. Are the ruins within the mountains? Like, this is a doorway into the mountain? Yes, it is built into the mountain, and it looks like it's the same mountain that the entrance, you know, was leading into. The, the cave was leading into. Okay. Can we... What would we need to do to roll this fucking tree out of the way? Ooh. Um, can I just try to roll it? I feel like what is a good way to do this? I think th I feel like this is a defy danger roll. Um... Depending on how you and go, the danger is that we'll get tired. The danger is you'll get tired. You could get hurt by this large tree that's in the way. Um, the 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 rocks in the surrounding area are still kind of loose, you know, from from all of the 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 quaking of the earth. Okay. Um. Question. Yeah. Could I use the move? Bend bars, lift gates. Ooh, could you please describe mm. the move to me? When you use pure strength to destroy an inanimate obstacle, roll plus strength on a... And I get, I get to do some stuff if I roll well, but it's just... Does this qualify? Uh, I would say so, yeah. That sounds like exactly what this move is made for. Okay. Uh, it does say destroy, so I guess my goal does have to be to destroy. I mean, with the way that the move is also titled, like, I don't know if you, you need to, like, I don't think you need to take an axe to this to, like, chop it into bits. Okay, um, cool. Yeah. Can I, do you need assistance? Um, If you want to. No. Oh, okay. Yep, do not need assistance. I got a... Nine. So I get to choose two of the options. Okay. So for one, it doesn't take a very long time. Great. And then for two, I think nothing of value is damaged. Okay. Cool. Because I... I would I would quantify our bodies and health as value. <laughs> okay, excellent. Um, cool. I like that a lot. Okay. Um, it's a partial success. So technically you're supposed to have a complication. Um, but not one that is the, the, those two. Covered. But not, but, but not those two. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I think I will go, I was just going to use this list as inspiration. Um, uh, I don't think this is much of a consequence, but you, yeah, we'll, we'll go with this. You can't fix it. Uh, you've moved it in such a way where you cannot 
you would not be able to place it back to where you had it. Oh, um, can I say what I did? Yeah. Uh, did you put like a whole lot of thought into like the the fine terrain of this area? I mean, I have an idea of what it generally looks like, but not like the specific details of the exact layout. Okay, cool. So could I say we are on a slight like incline? Yes. Okay, yeah. So we are at a slight incline and like the tree is kind of felled at the top of it and you know, wedged or whatever. However, it is held in place. Right. Um so I think I take my flail up, flail out, because I've never specified this. I do not have the the objectively better designed, like rounded flail. Oh. With all of the soft edges. No, I've got a spiky boy. Oh, you got the spiky boy. Okay. Any any time I ever reference a flail, I'm talking about the spiky boys. Spiky. Like spiky boys. Okay, cool. I don't care that they're objectively worse. The spiky ones are more fun. Uh, exactly. And they let me do shit like this. And I'm gonna... Because you said it's like bent over, right? So is there like a gap underneath it at all? Underneath the tree, you mean? Yeah, to any... Or is it fully laying on the ground? I mean... With the way that it's in, mm -hmm. th there's probably some room beneath it, mm -hmm. uh, like where where the, it's like laying in this hole, right? And so like yeah. there's there's probably some area beneath the tree that it's not like touching the ground because it's kind of branchy there, you know. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's just enough room for my head to go through, so I'm gonna like go to that end and like wrap it around like get into get it into reach mode uh-huh and like wrap it around the tree and just fucking pull that bitch down whoa okay cool um and since we're on an incline it's just gonna slide and keep going and we can't fix it because it's you know we'd have to like drag that shit all the way back up and that's just, it is not even it, remotely practical yeah it was, it was it, all gravity helping me on that okay cool i i like that a lot Cool, yeah, so this tree, completely out of the way. Uh, Harvey did a great job uh, moving it out of the way, but it is way out of the way. There is no way to get this tree back in there, even if you wanted it there. And as the now that the tree is gone, uh, you guys can look down into this, this hole or crevasse uh, and that there is an entryway uh, to some... And you see some, like, it's it's clearly an entryway that was has been place there using carved stone and um there's it's a way into the mountain and is um is it vertical or hor horizontal the entrance way entryway yeah like are we gonna be walking down or we're just oh forward? yeah no you guys will be it'll be kind of like down a little bit and then like the entrance the entryway is like a door doorway oh okay Without... can i um can I light up my light up shillelagh? Yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think you get to choose the color too. I do. That's Ooh. my favorite part. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling purple. Oh. Today. I'm a fan of purple. Alyssa, you said you did not want the uh, the ghoul mother teeth on your shillelagh, right? <laughs> you said it was too good. Okay, well, I'll save it then. I just feel like. There are so many good opportunities to be gross. I should just leave them for Zach. <laughs> Zach already has a has a flail made out of a head. Yeah, that's true. But I personally hate gross things, so my characters also all hate gross things. Why did you make yourself a druid of corpses? And <laughs> didn't you like at one point say that you have like maggots living inside you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Alyssa's regretting all of her past oh, decisions. Man. I'm full of maggots. <laughs> and you can also like turn into a bunch of cockroaches or something. I can. Yeah. 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 And have. And you have. And have. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um. So, uh, what are y'all? What do you? What do you want to do, all of you, 
It sounds like Danny is ready to go into the ruins with their lit up shillelagh. Um, and I would like to say, Lita? I would do it like, you know how adventurers do in Indiana Jones movie where I like wave it ahead of me to like knock any spider webs or anything out of the way? Oh yeah. Ooh, I like that. Perfect flavor. Yeah. So, um, Danny leads, uh, waving their shillelagh, um, Oh, uh, actually, brushing um, away I would like to webs. do a thing before going in. What's up? Um, I want to roll Burning Brand. Oh, okay. And I want to take, like, the back of the group. So we have two sources of light, like, at either end. Okay, cool. Um, let me just do one thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, excellent. So you guys um, enter uh, into these ruins, and you walk in, and uh, from what you can see through your various light sources is you've entered into uh, a single room. Uh, it seems to be uh, an empty room at this point. Uh, there's a bunch of rubble on the ground. Uh, nothing exciting. Um, we'll just go, yeah, on either side of the room are two doors that you can go through. Um, but there's nothing else that you can see, uh, at this point within this room. Can we, like, tell which door would lead us further into the mountain? Uh, let me just think about how this, this, this is, um, laid out. Uh, the way, no, both, so you entered in, into this room, and then they kind of each go onto the wings. There's no oh, wall no. deeper into the mountain. There's, there's a, if you're looking, if you, as you guys walk in, uh, there's a door to your right and a door to your left. Are they, like, open? Yeah, like, neither, they like door doors or door. They're they're ways? they're entryways. If you yeah, there's no doors on either. Okay, yeah. but you you can't I say see, you can't see into them at this point. Yeah, I say we go to each door, like me with my burning brand and you with your light of shillelagh, like separately. We check like we keep them real quick, and then we decide. I would also, well, I was thinking. Because I can talk to rats and roaches if they were any nearby. There aren't. And that is because there, is, there are spider webs. And the spiders keep it uh, pretty free of cockroaches and rats. Not to mention rats and roaches are very smart. And like they have survival skills, they probably wouldn't be hanging out here. Yeah, they they yeah, there you definitely see some you know dried some bones of some rats and you know the dried carapaces of some cockroaches that had been caught into the web, but they clearly have not set up shop uh, within these ruins and definitely not for a, a while. Okay, well, barring that, I would like to stick with Harvey's plan and do a little looky loo. Okay, uh, which which side would you like to go to first? I'll take the right if you take the left. Sounds good. Kay. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Danny's taking the right, uh, so we'll start with Danny. Uh, Danny, you take a quick peek into the right room, and it appears to be um, uh, a room... It, it appears to be catacombs. Uh, you see a bunch of, within the walls that make up this room, a bunch of uh, corpses that have been interred here uh, long ago. Uh, they're not gross. They're just, they're old corpses. 
Uh, they're they're basically skeletons at this point. Some of them may have been mummified. Uh, that's what you can see sure. uh, from that. Yeah, they they look like uh, the Draugrs in Skyrim, essentially. I have I have the most important question I will ever ask you. Yes. Would you consider a corpse to be an inanimate object? Uh, yes, yes, I would. Okay, can I just, I'm gonna be like, okay, guys, it's just catacombs this way. Um, but if we have like 10 minutes to spare, I would like to contemplate these corpses in order that I may assume their forms at will, if we're okay with that. Oh. I, I fucking guess, Danny. Sometimes it's beneficial to have a member of the team that can play dead. That looks like a corpse. <laughs> I think you should go for it. I think it's a good idea. Um, oh, thanks. Okay. Thanks for the support. Before we continue with that real quick, I'll just like smash cut to, to Harvey who looked into the other room. And uh, you can see it's kind of like another empty room. Uh, but I think you can make out that on the um, on the opposite side of the room is a door, and then on like the slightly more up door is an uh, uh, on the up side is another door. So there's like two doors that you can kind of make out in this room. Okay, so we definitely should go this way. But uh, I think Danny wanted to investigate. Um, or I, I forget what, what word you use, but study the essence uh, of the corpses. Yeah. Is that a wisdom roll? Uh, do I have to do I, that or do I just have to spend time? I'm not sure. What's what what's the language on the on the move? So basically study the essence when you spend time in contemplation of an animal spirit, you may add its species to those you can assume using shape shifting. And then I took the move thing talker to add inanimate objects to like things that i can study the essence of oh okay yeah i that sounds like just time uh not necessarily a role so i think you can just do that if everyone is okay with with hanging out for a bit you guys can also okay. explore a little bit more while she's well sorry while they're studying if you want to yeah i think i'll push a little further ahead just a little though yeah yeah are you going into that room you checked out? Once again, just looking inside. Okay. Uh, go ahead then and give me a uh, a discern realities check if you're gonna kind of look a little bit harder. What's that roll again? I think it's. Oh wait, wait. wait. I think Sorry. it's. Plus. You were asking if I was going into the room I just looked into. Yes. No, I'm stupid. Yes, I'm going into there. You're going into that room, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, perfect. Yeah, go ahead and roll then. Uh, a discern realities check since you're kind of checking out a little bit uh, further. What, what's the mod for that again? Uh, I think that's wisdom. Wiz? Yeah, wisdom. Wisdom is discern reality, and if you want to spout lore, it's intelligence. It's intelligence, so right. It's going to be a six. Oh, okay. Um, that is, ooh, that's a, that's a fail, huh? You, okay. You don't know, uh, you don't know anything about this room. This room doesn't have much. When you enter this room, you have your, your, uh, your branded weapon, and it kind of lights up the room. It's a pretty empty room. All that you can see is the door, uh, are the two doors. There's two doors, uh, let me see one second. Um, one, one door is an actual door with like a pretty big, uh, like, like it's a pretty strong metal door. And then the other door, uh, kind of the, uh, the upper Northern door, um, mm -hmm. uh, does not have a door. It's just an entryway. But that's kind of like all that you can kind of gather from that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Folly, 
Is there anything that you wanted to do? Yeah, I was going to say, um, I want to try to cast um, the spell Speak with Dead um, on a, presumably a different corpse from the one that Dan <laughs> is uh, uh -huh. studying. Um, but uh, I guess uh, if successful, a corpse converses with you briefly. It will answer any three questions you post to it to the best of the knowledge it had in life and the knowledge it gained in death. That's so cool. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Okay, very cool. Is as well. <laughs> uh, well, um, that's not happening because I rolled a six. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, what happens instead? Um, okay. I think before you can cast, I think before you can cast the spell, or as you're casting the spell, uh, you're in the, that room. Yeah. Uh, you didn't know that notice this before because uh, Danny has been studying the essence uh, of the corpses for a little bit. There is an there is a uh, there's another entryway in this to this room into another into another room. And I think a spider, a giant spider, jumps out at you, and um, and bites you. And I think it's gonna do. Bah, 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 bah. It's a kind of a. It's an adult spider. No, no. It is a. Um, it is an adolescent spider. So it's it's mm. it's not huge, but it is it is bigger than any spider you've ever seen. Uh, and it's gonna. Like cat size or dog size? I'm sorry. Are we talking like cat and dog size? Or are we talking like a bear? No, no. It, it's at uh, it's at closer to like a. It's closer to dog sized. Hmm. Like okay. like medium dog sized. Not good. Not good. And Ooh, it's going great. no, and it's gonna strike at you with its fangs, and it's just gonna deal um. It's going to deal 1d4 damage to you. So if you want to roll a d4 and apply that to to you. But it's also going okay. to... Oh, tell me tell me what you got real quick. Uh, I rolled a 3. I have 1 armor. Um, so, so that's 2, right? That's a question. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's also going to poison you. Uh, cool. Love to be poisoned. So, oh my gosh. So whenever... So this is going to be ongoing until you address it, the poison. Uh, but you'll take minus one d4 to any damage that you roll. You're feeling uh, kind of weak. Oh, that's pretty fucked up. Do you make a noise? Yeah. Yes. I um. I actually, I, I, I a quick quick rolls question. When, when you say I take uh, minus one d4 to any damage, any damage I would that do you to another person. Correct. Any damage that you deal okay. to someone, you'll you'll also roll a d4 and take that away from your. Roll. Oh, that's fucked up. Okay, that's yeah. I'm cool. I'm gonna be useless. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I, I think I think yeah, the spider um doesn't manage to like get me any revital because I do have chainmail on, but just like bites me in like the cap or something. And I just shriek and try to kick it off. I would like to come running back. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you you can do that. Um. It, before, but since you since you were kind of in, where were you, Betty? Since you were in another room, Harvey. Um, I was just in the middle of the room, like that entry room that we came in. Yeah, I didn't go either way. Okay. Um, is Molly in here with us, or did she stay outside? Molly's in the room with you. Okay, so I'm in the middle next to Molly, uh, and I'm gonna be like, Molly dear, uh, try to take care of yourself. It seem, seems like that's what you're good at. And then I'm going to, like, uh, <laughs> run into the other... I'm going to, like, whistle for blue, and my Mastiff is going to, like, sprint into the other room and try to, like, pull this spider off of Folly, and then I'm going to take a shot at it. With okay. My, uh, with my crop. Great. Uh, go ahead and roll a Folly, and go ahead and add uh, blue's, you know, uh, applicable stat for your command roll. That's my, that's my dexterity plus his ferocity. Ugh. Seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, you deal damage, but the spider gets to deal damage in return. Uh, On Molly? Oh, or no? I think oh, that, yeah, that's one of them. Right, isn't that? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. 
Oh, sorry, you're right. Volleys are slightly different, right? Uh, uh, that doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, well, you 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 take the spider. The spider's quick, uh, and and uh, Folly is kind of waggling it around on its on their leg, and it's hard to uh, get a shot on it. And so, reduce your ammo by one. Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Ruby. But I still get to roll for my damage. But you, yeah, you still get to roll damage. It's gonna be five. Nice. Uh. Ooh, okay. The um, the spider looks bad. It's still moving, uh, but it looks bad. Uh, Harvey, uh, you enter in to this adjoining room. The spider just attacked Folly. Uh, mm -hmm. Blue ripped it off Folly's leg, and uh, Betty got a good shot on the spider. It looks... It, it's not looking good. It's looking pretty pretty worse for wear. What do you do? Oh, I mean, I would like to thwack it, please. So whack it. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a hack and slash. Yep. My favorite part is that Danny is just sitting here looking at a corpse. I have to spend time. I have to contemplate. <laughs> I it's feel excellent. like I'm doing druid stuff. I'm just like zoned out. Yeah, you're really you're channeling that essence of a corpse, right? <laughs> uh, twelve. On your hack and slash. Mm -hmm. Oh, solid. Go ahead and roll your damage. You you got a square hit on this on this spider. Uh, nine. Oh, it. I mean, you squish it. I don't know how if you need any other descriptor than that, but it is. It was a spider, and now it's just guts. We love an onomatopoetic descriptor. <laughs> I look down at it in disappointment. Yeah, it, 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 just one spider, no problem for you guys. We'll see. Um, well, we'll see what happens. Oh, and I think my burning brand actually burns out at that because I've rolled three times. Oh, okay. Did you hit it with your burning brand? I mean. Oh, yeah, I have to put my flail away since I always have my shield out. Yes, thank you. Okay, cool. I mean, there's also, like, they're kind of smoldering, too, the, the, the remains of this spider, just for a little flail. I'm going to rip a leg off and take a bite out. And uh, how does it taste compared to a skider? Um, it's not great. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I imagine... This is, this is much... It's much more similar uh, to, like... Uh, what is it that you guys call it? Gelatin? Oh, I see. Disgusting. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's so kind of... It's a texture. It's a texture thing. Mm. Yeah. How's the mouth feel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like a stew, which is really off-putting. Mm. Uh, a jelly stew. Oh. No, thank you. Mm. Oh, yeah, probably still spider body temperature. I don't know if they're warm-blooded or cold-blooded. They're probably cold blooded. It's a but little. I think cold blooded is still pretty much room temperature. I don't think they're <laughs> blooded at all. I don't think they have blood in the same way that we have blood. The I think their blood definitely functions in a different way than it does for humans. Are you guys gonna yeah. make me look up what temperature our spiders? No. Um, spiders' legs are like filled with hydraulic fluid. Yeah. Yeah, that it's yeah. like. It gets like pumped in and out, and that's why their legs work so weird. Yeah, that's why when they die, they their legs curl up because that's like their uh, relaxed pose. It's gross. Um, yeah. <laughs> spider anatomy. Uh, I feel like we've discovered a new law that's like Murphy's law, but it's Zachary's law. Like whatever's the grossest thing you can do in this situation, that's that, what Zach. Does. That's what Zach does. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, excellent. Um, the spider is dead. Uh, Folly is a little damaged and a little poisoned. Uh, Danny, how is studying the corpse going? It doesn't specify, specify how much time I have to spend. And I think because I didn't get to help with the fight, I, 
I would say I've probably spent sufficient time. I would agree with you. So you now have the capability of turning into a corpse. <laughs> I would like to roll to do that, please. Right now? Yeah, I want everyone to turn around and just face like a moving corpse. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay, excellent. Please turn into roll your move. Okay. Seven, two is nine. So I get two holds. Perfect. Um, I feel like if you want to spend a hold, one of the moves I feel like for a corpse I could, especially if you're using it to like, you're moving as a corpse, it should be to uh, terrify or startle. Uh, That's so cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I can be like a humanoid shaped entity that's an inanimate object like with the rock person i can still move you know what i mean right right so you look like oh, a. oh you know what another thing should oh. be hmm. it should be like leak fluids you <laughs> <Ew. laughs> i would like to roll to leak fluids okay but here's the thing i get all the innate abilities of whatever form i'm taking and i think corpses do innately leak fluids but maybe it's like an excessive amount that it becomes like a, a an obstacle on the floor yeah, like, I, I hate everything about this yeah i was gonna get the other move that i was gonna like i was thinking about was like it, i was gonna call it like play dead where like you look like a dead corpse you completely oh. disguise yourself and like everyone's gonna overlook that because you look like a corpse that could be yeah. really useful like, if I could just pass muster as a completely dead corpse? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. So, since I have all the innate abilities, I want to say that I probably, like, smell bad anyway. Gross. Love it. Um. So, when you guys turn around, I'm just going to be like, Ugh. I'm going to, like, push Folly out of the way. <laughs> um, and I would like to swing at this shambling corpse. Mm. <laughs> I think it's a side note. Folly shrieks again when. <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay, uh, I mean, uh, Zach, go ahead and roll a hack and slash, and Danny, yeah, go sorry, ahead Danny. and roll a defy danger. Okay. Wait. Oh. Oh, damn. I want to be fast, so I'm gonna do dex. Okay, Danny, I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thirteen. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> Thirteen! <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. You guys... Right, let's roll again. Yeah, I guess. Right? I, I think... So, this is, like, unheard of. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, go, go go ahead and roll again. Wait, this is... if they both ride, can I just be like, Hey, wait, no, what are you, what are you doing? That, 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 they hit me. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to keep hitting each other, or do you want to listen to Betty? No, 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 no. I'll listen to Betty. I'll listen to Betty. I'll okay. I that draw is like a sign. I just felt like... No, no I, 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 think, I think it was perfect. I think that was the perfect reaction. Uh, and I'm glad Danny was able to like just barely dodge out of the way of your of your swing. And I feel like that's also like like what like alerted you to it being Danny was because it moved way quicker than any corpse should be able to move. It just that's no zombie. This is also the like, confusing. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say. I feel like Danny grabbed under their ribs and just went, Hoo! and then just like split apart like a. Car <laughs> and they just like went through them, and they like landed back on the legs. And like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's me. It's Danny. Can't you see? <laughs> well, that's the thing, because I can move in this form, but I also have all the weaknesses of the form, so I don't think I can talk. Yeah, I it, want to say narratively, maybe I just make zombie noises. It, it's very, oh, very no. grunty and groany. Your vocal cords yeah. are are not not what they used to be. <laughs> uh, excellent. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so after all that, uh, you guys are all in 
uh, that one room with the catacombs, or, you know, uh, where all the corpses are. Uh, Danny is currently a corpse. Uh, Folly is a little bit hurt and poisoned. And Betty and Harvey are good. And Molly kind of peeks her head in and she's like, How you guys doing? Are you doing okay? I'm currently milking the spider things. God, I hate Betty so much sometimes. Uh, <laughs> excellent. Can I and I'm, you, you get, you I'm got putting some... them onto my current thing of arrows. Okay, cool. So your your arrows have a little bit of, of uh, spider venom on them? Yeah, I think just this current... Um, bundle of arrows? This current bundle. So the next time I run out of ammo... Okay. Poisoning. Perfect. I, I like that. Um, Ooh, that's like, hey, Betty. Um, wait. <laughs> Sorry. I, I like noticed Betty milking the things. Hey, Betty. <laughs> there be any? Think there might be any venom left once you're done? Oh yeah, I got plenty of extra venom, and you know there's gonna be a lot of spiders there. So I think Do you can get it on this if you want. Do I just sort of oh, dip all oh. the stuff in, and I. What are you? And I just like, huh? What are you milking? I don't think spiders have nipples. Fangs, milking the fangs. Oh, okay. I, it doesn't look. It, 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 yeah, it doesn't look like that. <laughs> um, no, but I'm. I'm just like, okay. I know nothing about this, but I have an idea. Do you think you could grab those things for me? Oh yeah, yeah, certainly. I mean, I've I've already taken them out so that I could like compress the venom glands that were attached to them. Oh, for I, sure. I, I'll hand them over to you. Yeah, there you go. There's some spider veins for you. All right. I think I think once we uh, get back to town, I might try to I like look at my flail, place a couple of these spikes. Ooh, I like that. That's very monster hunter. That's very cool. Um. Okay. Uh, so Betty has some poisoned arrows now. Uh, Harvey has some fangs that they're thinking about incorporating into their weapon when we get back to town. Uh, what do you guys want to do? You guys are looking for the mushrooms, uh, Danny. Yeah. Yes, oh. I have. I have one move. It's not productive. <laughs> um, I would just like to use my last hold to terrify Molly. Oh. oh. <laughs> yes. I don't think she knows about my new form yet. She she, she does not. Uh, and I feel like she pokes her head in, right? And she's like trying to talk to you guys to see how you're doing. And I feel like you kind of like emerge from the shadows and you go, Ray. And you, you can describe it obviously however you want. Uh, but she sees, she sees you and she's like, she makes the most terrified screech you, you've ever heard. It's incredibly satisfying. Uh, and she runs back, and you hear her uh, whimpering in a corner in the other room. Oh. Ugh, yes. I would I would never dream of trying to describe that better than you did just now. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> um, so I think that's my last move. So I'm going to like switch back to human um, mouse halfling form. <laughs> awesome. Love it. Very cute. Molly, Molly, calm down there, okay? Did, it, did, 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 did you guys take care of that corpse? It was coming for me. Oh, <laughs> it's gone. Oh, I disappeared. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Uh, I don't know what I'd do without you. Die. Uh, well, perhaps. I would definitely not be here, that's for sure. I would be. Molly, it's funny you would say that there, because I have a question for you. I think maybe you might be able to help us out. Um, and if not, I guess we'll just have to figure it out like we've been doing the whole time <laughs> so far. But, uh, I was wondering, you you said that people used to harvest these mushrooms before. Um, is it? Do the spiders normally hang out where there's a lot of these mushrooms we're looking for? Is that a part of their preferred uh, habitat there, or is it's, the fact that there are spiders in this cave unrelated to them? Hmm. That's an interesting question, Betty. Um, 
I would say, from my understanding, is that the it's almost by happenstance that these mushrooms and these spiders coexist. Uh, I think the cave, this cave is one of the few caves, again, from my understanding, that has these type of mushrooms. It's the perfect environment. Um, and I think just by pure coincidence, uh, these spiders have uh, taken up residence within this network of caves. If that makes how bright sense. Do the, how bright do the mushrooms glow? Uh, not like, not like spotlight bright or like, not like gonna blind you bright, but they definitely, if there's enough of them, you'll be able to see them glowing, uh, from, from afar. Even if we had our own light source, that wouldn't drown it out or nothing there? Uh, she, she looks at, uh, Danny's shillelagh, and she goes, No, it should be fine. You should still be able to see a glow, uh, even, even with an additional light source. I guess if, like, you know, maybe all four of you had really bright torches or something like Danny's shillelagh, um, it might be more difficult to see, but if, with what you guys have equipped right now, it's not too bad. I think you should still be able to, for the most part, see them, see the, the glow from a distance. Okay, so you guys wanted to move forward. Uh, Harvey had discovered some some additional doors in the other room, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a map of the cave system, right? You, uh, you have, yeah, Molly, Molly uh, pipes in, she's, she goes, I have a map of... I, I wouldn't call it a a full map of the network of caves. It's mostly a map of how to get to where the mushrooms or like the path we would take to get the mushrooms. Outside of this path it gets a little it gets a little dicey because of all the, the spiders. You know, so we, we weren't really interested in um you know, exploring too much uh outside of, you know, getting to the mushrooms. Uh, How do so, we make sure we don't get lost? Is that Molly's job? Molly's uh, still, like map of things. She, 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 yeah, she, she points to she, t she taps her brain. She's like, I got it all up here in my noggin. Looking at the map, if we look at the map of like the, if we look at the topographical map and the map of like the what we have of the tunnel system, could we like? put them on top of each other, like, back and forth to try to figure out, in general, like, which direction you need to go? Or does it, is it not uh, overlay that way? No, I don't, I don't think it would overlay in that way. And on, on, additionally, the, the type of paper, uh, that it's written on, you, you wouldn't be able to, like, you know, see, see through it. Oh, no, I was just thinking that we would do, like, how anime, do oh, animating, oh, you, like, you, you kind of, it up. yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't think, I don't think it would, it would match it in that way. Okay, this scale is way off. Yeah. Okay. I guess we'll just keep going then. Okay, so you guys want to head into the room that Harvey briefly scoped out? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Excellent. Uh, so you guys, um, go into, uh, the room that Harvey went into, uh, and you see the two doors. One door is an actual door with a big metal, um, a big metal, um, door. And, uh, the other way, uh, is just an entryway, uh, that you could just walk through. Uh, otherwise it's a pretty empty, empty and barren room. What does it the map the say? We don't have any. I don't think you guys have a map of of this area, so you guys are kind of this just area. okay. You guys are just exploring. Can you try opening the big metal door? It is. Oh, are you are you are you trying to open it? Yeah, I want to try to open it. Is it locked? It is locked. Is it, That's lame. Is it a padlock or is it an, an internal deadlock? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, how was I matching it? It was, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess it was padlocked. Yeah. Padlocked? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh. 
the the I also I forgot to describe this. Sorry. The 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 door also has like a bar. Like not a bar, but it has like a little window that you can look through that's barred. Hmm. So it's obviously it? a jail cell cell. It it definitely looks like a jail cell. Or some sort of uh even some sort of supply closet, maybe, I guess. But it definitely evokes more of a jail cell. Can I hand my shillelagh to someone taller than me to, like, peek in the window? Yeah, who would you like to hand it to? Who's the tallest of us? Betty? I think Betty. Is, Betty. is Betty or Harvey? Because Harvey's an elf. Elves are sometimes tall. Uh, wasn't Harvey, like, short for an elf? Yeah. Oh, right, elf. right, right, right. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna give it to Betty. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna peek through there. What do I see? Okay, uh, I don't. Do I need to give you additional realities on this? No, I don't think so. Uh, I think when you peek in, uh, the main thing that you see. If you wanted to see more than this, I think I would give you a additional realities check. Uh, but I uh, want well, uh, whatever. What you see when you peek into the window is at the far end of this room. Uh, there appears to be a glow emanating from the ground. Uh, not necessarily on the ground, but like as if it's like coming from a hole in the ground. What color? Uh, blue. It's like it's like a. Molly? Yeah. Oh. Molly, what color mushrooms? Uh, what color these mushrooms glow? Oh, they have a a pretty nice blue glow to them. Mm. Oh. Hey, Harvey? Yeah. You want to smash this fucking lock there? Yeah, I do. I'm going to get out of his way. Just gonna go to town on this lock with his sledge. With his, uh, Excellent. I think uh, this also applies uh, to your fighter move, right? Since it's an inanimate object? Oh, yes. it does. And you know what that was? That was a double six. Love it. Those today. Okay. Uh, describe how uh, this looks as you break open this lock. I mean, I honestly think, given that it was a double six. Oh wait, I also nothing is value. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's simple. It's just a uh, real quick, everyone like backs up and he's like, oh, he's, he's about to just go to town. I like <clears throat> start to reel back and then I grab the head of my flail ever so gently, put it up against the padlock and just twist it in a way that just snaps it. Ah, oh, yes. Um, so the three things I picked since um, I did get a 10 plus. Yeah. Um, doesn't take very long. Um, it does not make an inordinate amount of noise and, uh, nothing of, oh, wait. Oh yeah. Nothing of value is damaged. Cause I don't think I can do fix again without a lot of effort. Cause that just doesn't make sense. Yeah. I think that's, that's perfect. I, I like that. Uh, and since it's a full success, there's no consequence, uh, as a result of this and role. It's really quiet and it just softly like clings to the ground. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's super cool. Yeah, you, you make a big show of it, and then you do it in, like, a very dexterous, very quick move. Very cool. Yeah, so the padlock, as as Harvey described it, plunks to the ground, um, and the lock on this door uh, is no longer a lock on this door. Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm just gonna go in since I'm ready at the door. Okay. Um, you you push open the door. Uh, push open. Yeah, you push open the door. Um, it makes a really grating, you know, rusty sound as the hinges haven't been moved in who knows how long. Door opens, and um, you walk in, and um, the blue glow. Um, you can see it, it's coming through what appears to be a hole, uh, in the ground on the opposite end of this room. What are the rest of you doing? 
I'm gonna follow. Okay. Arnie, are you alive? No. <laughs> oh, Danny, the uh, glowing shillelagh back that they have it again. I could. Can I try to see if there's anything that we should be worried about in this room? Any like spiders? Yeah, yeah. I just I want to get a read on where Danny and Folly are real quick. I think Folly is probably still hanging back a bit. Okay. Me too. Nice. This feels like a trap. Okay. Cool. Then that means uh, Betty wants to use discern realities. It seems like to see uh, if anything is going on. I'm gonna set blue and ask him if he smells anything that we can work together. Um, discern realities? Yeah, go ahead and roll dis discern realities. Nine. A nine? Okay. So you get to um, ask one question, and then you can take a plus one forward if you act upon any of the answers that I give you. What is about to happen? That's a good one. That is a good one. You were in the process of kind of identifying this room to see if there was any threats coming from the hole, right? Essentially. Or just like in the room. Or in the room. It's a hole in floors. I don't know if a spider got in. Yeah, yeah. Through that. You know. It doesn't seem like this room nor the hole in the floor is there's anything particularly threatening. As you as you're looking at around this room, it seems to be more. Uh, it may have once been used as some sort of prison cell, uh, but in this room there are shelves of stuff. Uh, most of it is kind of there's it's uh, there's only like a scattering of objects. It looks like uh, there's like embalming tools on these shelves. There's some vases. And and other amphora, and some maybe some some rudimentary like ho hooks that were used for embalming, um, and like behind the shelves, you can see that there were like pegs for uh, for like manacles to be attached to them, but they've clearly not been used uh, since like before these shelves were installed, um, and then in the hole. Uh, if you take a, a peek into the hole, you can see that there are uh, a decent amount of mushrooms. But like uh, when Molly was describing like what the mushrooms, like the room, what the mushrooms should look like, it should be like a room full of mushrooms. But this is just like a few mushrooms uh, in the room below you. Um, and there doesn't seem to be any spiders. Um prowling in that room there i guess there there's some there's probably some webbing but this is clearly a room at least the room below you that the spiders don't like regularly use how far down is this room does this hole go is it like a little pit that i could just reach my arm down in and grab mushrooms or is it like a hole that leads to your cavern it, it's like a it's like a full ass room below you Okay. So if you're like um, if if you were to drop down into it without like any any sort of anything, uh, you would not be able to get back up, uh, without some sort of assistance. Okay. Uh, I do kind I'm of gonna, feel like we should go down there. I do as well. I'm a point. I'm a point my crossbow <laughs> at the hole, and then like turn back and be like, uh, Amy, Bobby, and Molly, uh, the. The room seems clear. Uh, if you want to come in, but we got a hole we got to deal with. And um, I don't know. These are giant spiders. I don't know if they can open doors, but I feel like maybe we ought to close the door behind us. I would rather not close the door behind us. It's like my dad said before he died. Always know where your exits are. I would rather be the be the person that rescues everybody. If this turns out to be a trap, then be somebody also trapped when it slams shut. If 
that makes sense. That makes okay. sense. That does make sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. My dad didn't die in a trap, by the way. He died for love. I just thought I should clear that up. <laughs> <laughs> the way it should be. Mm. Yeah, love has no exit, apparently. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> uh okay so can, can you can you all tell me what you what y'all are doing oh i'm uh dropping down okay so harvey's just going for it down into the hole uh folly what are you doing um i guess it's uh, uh danny did you want to be the one to um sort of stay behind and watch the door or yeah i i was planning to stand in the doorway and like be a lookout Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I think in the meantime, I'm going to kind of wait by the hole and see what happens to Harvey um, once he's down there. Uh, in the meantime, I want to pull out the uh, bow I got. I stole from the poachers and cast light on it, so we have another light source. Oh, nice. Very cool. And, and Betty, what are you doing? I'm going to use my last, what is it, my last use of adventuring gear and I'm gonna pull out a rope and I'm gonna tie it to the sturdiest thing possible so I can climb down. And then I'm gonna leave Blue up here with Danny because dogs can't climb ropes. <laughs> that is a good point. Um, okay. Fun dog fact. I don't know if you knew that, but they uh, don't typically climb ropes. It's the thumbs. It's the, it's the, it's the thumbs. Um, okay. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, let's see. How is this going to happen? Um, Molly is going to, out of nowhere, ram into Danny, poof, push her into the room. I knew it. Slam. I knew it. I knew Lolly was gonna shut that door. Slam shut oh, the no. slam shut the door. Pulls out a lock that she had in her pack. Poof, locks it. Locks it shut. And says, "Oh, I was just starting to like you guys. Um, but it can't be helped." And she is going to say, uh, have fun with uh, the giant spiders in the spider cave. And oh she is going to take the goblin berries and the griffin tail hair and uh, leave the door. And I think that's where we're going to end the session. Dude, I didn't say it in character because I didn't want her to hear me, but I was literally thinking, also, I don't trust Molly. I feel like she's going to shut this door. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, but so, yeah, y'all are... Huh? I'm not worried at all because there's a hole in the door, a window... And we have to turn into a cockroach. So, ah, uh, yeah, this is true. That's true. I'm this not is true. About that. Cockroaches also don't have opposable thumbs. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I just would like to know for the record that I knew it and I hate her. Uh, I'm gonna kill her. My mom said I should never trust those bastards from the Charters Guild, and she was right. <laughs> y'all, y'all should listen to your instincts. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you guys, you guys did great. Um, wow. Uh, let's do our XP triggers. Oh yeah. Okay. Holy oh. moly. Also, uh, hmm? did you didn't you fail at full rolls? Oh, yeah. We're supposed to take XP, huh? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys remember how many rolls I failed? Like an approximate number. I think I definitely. It was at least one, but maybe two. 
I feel like. I think it was probably just one. I was rolling pretty lucky tonight. Okay, I'm just gonna do one. Better, okay. you know. I, I will I will make sure to do a better job of reminding you as you guys roll failures to take your XP. Uh, I wish I could say I would do a better job remembering, but I don't think so. No, don't worry about it. I, I'm the GM. I should, I should remember that rule, and sometimes I forget about it. I'm good. Okay. Uh, so end of session. Um, let's see. We'll just go through the easy ones real quick. Um, did you guys resolve any of your bonds with anyone? No. 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 Okay. Perfect. Uh, then we're going to go through... Uh, okay. We'll do these ones real quick. Uh, we'll go through everyone's alignment and see if you fulfilled your alignment trigger. Uh, so, Harvey, what is your alignment? Defeat a worthy foe. No. Ooh. No. No, not not this session, huh? <laughs> no. I didn't. I didn't. No. I didn't give you guys anything worthy to fight this time. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Betty, what is your alignment? Awful. Step two or contract. Ooh, I mean, yeah. I think you did exactly yeah. that. Uh, Danny, what is your alignment? Um, chaotic. Encourage someone to break the rules. I was actually trying to keep people playing by the rules this session, so. You were, you so. were, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I feel <laughs> like I feel like last session you may have mentioned that you wanted to change your alignment. Uh. Maybe I'm misremembering. Well, it's difficult. We've already changed it once. I know I'm chaotic, but I feel like it's like hard to come up with one that like fits Danny's character. Okay. Okay, cool. Then we'll we'll keep it chaotic. Maybe. Yeah, we can keep it chaotic for now and if maybe we can think of something we'll we'll think of it later. Um, what if instead of in what if like encouraging people to break rules you like encourage people to like rethink or break with like social norms because i feel like that's more broad and you can do like philosophical things and without necessarily like making people feel like they're gonna get in trouble yeah i think so because i feel like that would already apply better yeah, I, I would agree with that as well. Uh, so if you want to change it for, for going forward, that chaotic means more encouraging people to uh, discard social norms. Okay, yeah. Or disregard. Good. Um, Thank you, guys. Yeah, and then uh, Folly, what is your alignment? Yeah, so um, last time I said I was going to rewrite it, and then I forgot about rewriting it until right before this session. So I'm kind of still workshopping what exactly it says. Um, I was going to choose, um, I was going to do um, lawful, and mm. something to the effect of like, try to use like, something, something like, the reason I, have, reason I have right now is like, use my city morals to justify my choices to myself and others. Um, kind of like, almost like the inverse of Alyssa's where it's kind of like, oh, I'm kind of trying to use sort of social norms slash ideas that I have from my past to like justify my own choices, but I don't, I'm not super, super happy with that right now. So I might just hold on taking any, any XP for this, for the, for this week. And then like try to reword it for next week. Okay. Well, can you quote something that your mom said this time? As like a joke at the end, <laughs> but yes. Yeah. I feel like uh, probably that Folly more than other characters like relies on knowledge from your past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I feel like we we even saw it in this episode. Folly, I feel like acts very ethically. In in a lot of cases, like you went, Folly went and healed, or at least bandaged up that that poacher that uh right. that danny scarred and i don't know right. I, I mean I, I think what i'm i think part of what i'm trying to get at is that while it is acting ethically it's kind of also like ethics that is maybe out of touch with the way stuff works outside of 
the environment they grew up with. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. I, I mean, know, I'll like, I'll rewrite that for next week. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, that sounds good. Um, okay, and then we'll go through. Huh? Your group is kind of like a group of doctors, right? Or uh, yeah, yeah. What if you did something that was like similar to like the Hippocratic Oath for mm -hmm. like your alignment picker? I can like try and like bring some wording for that, and yeah, I think that would that would make sense. Cool. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I know kind of like the first do no harm thing is kind of the thing everyone quotes, which isn't doesn't doesn't actually appear in the Hippocratic Oath, but no. something to that effect I think would work. Yeah. Okay. Or putting advancing medical knowledge ahead of like other things, other considerations. Maybe. Yeah. I'll I'll let it sit on it. I'll think about it. Very cool. Uh, then let's do uh, the basic uh, XP triggers, and then we'll do our uh, inspiration triggers. Uh, so for XP, did you learn something new and important about the world? In terms of like learning something about the world, like it feels pretty obvious that it used to be some kind of like necropolis that we just stumbled upon. Yeah, or, yeah. Like, some kind yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah, I feel like the ruins that you guys uh, discovered is also something new and important about the world. Um, did you guys overcome a notable monster or enemy? I don't know. Notable? Yeah, I don't know if, if this session hit that. Yeah, that's a, that's a no. I don't think the single adolescent fighter, it's a single adolescent fighter counts as notable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then did you guys loot any memorable treasure? You guys did uh... get the griffin tail hair. But she took them. She did take it at the end. But you guys did get it, and you got it in a really, really cool way. So I, I kind of want to, like, give that to you guys, because I think that was really cool how you handled that situation. Oh, thanks. Okay. All right. And, 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 uh, Harvey and Betty, uh, made use of those spider things in a really creative way. Looted some nasty stuff. Some nasty guts. <laughs> um, some spiders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, for inspiration, we have, uh, let's see, what is it? Fuck it, that was cool. Uh, the workhorse and the role player. So who got uh, the role player? Mm -hmm. I think uh, Alyssa, maybe. There's some good, some good Danny moments. There yeah. were some. There were some good Danny moments. There's no escape from love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I liked how Danny was behaving at the end with with her, or with them. Uh, like, pretty goddamn sure it was a trap. Um, and, and I and like being proven right. Yeah, and then being proven right exactly. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. So Danny, take it, take that inspiration. Uh, and then the workhorse. Betty. Mm. I was going to say, uh, Zach with breaking those locks and, you know, fighting people and charging into the room. Yeah. I was going to say Zach too. Cause you also moved the tree. You took, you, you oh, landed the, you landed the killing blow on the spider. You broke the lock. Uh, you helped with the fuck. You got the tongue out for the griffin. <laughs> Don't count that. That did not help. Me. Yeah, yeah. Z Zach, Zach got the workhorse on that one. That that was all right. That that's easy. Uh, and then we have uh, fuck it. That was cool. I was gonna say Alyssa turning into a corpse. Oh, dang, that was <laughs> good. Scaring Molly real and then scaring that. Molly. That was so funny. Oh my god. Uh, Who killed the spider, though? That's what I was thinking. Zach, Wasn't it Betty? No, Zach killed the spider, but Betty did land a pretty cool hit on it with, with uh, Blue. Mm -hmm. I give it to Devin for doing a switcheroo. Oh, no. It, that's okay. You guys you guys were, were good. I was really worried because uh, you guys were 
Not getting into that goddamn room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so so go ahead, and, and Danny, go ahead and, and take that uh, for fuck it. That was cool. Well, thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. I can be a corpse now. Uh, yeah, yeah. that's... grosser and grosser. Yeah, Danny it's is... pretty bad. ...is the grossest. <laughs> Up against some pretty steep competition. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Especially if you include people from, like, other campaigns and whatnot. People get really gross. Yeah. Absolutely. Can I? Before we leave, roll to see if <laughs> if if Blue ended up because I left I left him up there. Can I roll to see if he if he passed through the door before it closed? Yeah, I mean I, I was thinking that blue was within the door. Uh but if you want to roll for it, I think we can. Um this'll be like like, you know, at the end of the credits, there's, like, sometimes a bonus mm -hmm. scene. Uh, this will showcase if Blue was, was in or out of the door. Uh, okay. I feel like that is a defy danger. Unless you have a different... Do I add... Well, the Thermal Companion doesn't have any uh, of their own stats. They have, like, instead they have... Ferocity, cunning, and instinct. And instinct is like their stuff. It's kind of like their it's kind of like their weaknesses. It's like the things like they control. Like, uh, not really like fear, but it's stuff like you just do automatically because they're animal. And then yeah. cunning is like how they are, and ferocity is like how good they are at fighting. Um. Then I think go ahead and have blue roll. A defy danger using their cunning. That's a 13. Awesome. Okay. What we see is great. Blue slips out without Molly noticing. And Blue oh, wow. hides within the shadows 